Aquiculters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thank you so much for joining us today here in Omaha, Nebraska, where it is so cold. But Christina's in the house. How are you, my friend? Good, cold, but good. Cold? We were looking on the thing. Somebody said they were in Manitoba. What was the temperature was negative, in Manitoba? Negative 34. Negative 34, you win. I can't. Yeah, that's just so cold. No matter if that's Fahrenheit or Celsius, that's yeah. the worst. <laughs> we were trying to figure out what that really was in our terms, but it's know. still cold. Oh. And going to be cold here all weekend. Yes, on um, Sunday it's supposed to be like a high of negative 3. So what are you doing for Valentine's Day since it's negative 3? Staying the heck inside. Yeah. We're going to watch movies and make dinner and then just never leave our house yeah we're and we're off Monday <laughs> yes so we're never leaving our house either <laughs> so <laughs> that'll be great all right so where is everybody watching from today oh listen Susan's in Canada she said it's in a deep freeze I'm so sorry Vicki is from Northwest Arkansas oh and Meredith is from Louisville Kentucky I feel it's a little warmer there we're glad you're all watching today thanks for joining us all right so here is it listen it's Valentine's week so this is the photo of the day. And look, I have some here. Yum. Okay, I know, Christine is waiting for me to open it. I called dibs, it's fine. <laughs> she called dibs long <laughs> ago, okay? So here's the photo of the day. It's chocolates because it's Valentine's Day. So I have 15 fun facts about chocolate candy. Are you excited? I'm so ready. Okay, so before we ask the question of the day, here's the thought. Uh, Valentine's Day, the, uh, in America, they sell 58 million pounds of chocolate for wow. Valentine's Day. But guess what holiday sells the number one? February 15th, the oh, day after. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good answer. <laughs> Halloween. Oh, okay. Halloween. That yeah. makes sense. Okay, so our question of the day is, because we've already talked about it here in the Dream Studio, uh, do you like milk chocolate or dark chocolate? To me, that doesn't matter. Does that mm -mm. matter to you? Not really. But here's the big question. Nuts or no nuts? And Christina, are you a nuts? I could do either. Like, I love the chocolate-covered almonds from Costco, like the yes. huge tub of them. Yes. But I, I could truly go either way. I know you eat Milky Ways. I do. And three Musketeer bars. I do. We've had this conversation. But Chelsea <laughs> Graphics, she doesn't eat peanuts or peanut butter, so she likes dark chocolate. Does Scotty like nuts? Okay, good job, Scotty. You can still hang with us, okay? So in the comments section today, here's the question. Do you like milk chocolate, dark chocolate, but really nuts or no nuts? What do you think the answer is going to be? I feel like probably no nuts. I feel like that'll be the overwhelming answer, just right. because like some folks are allergic, you know, yeah. things like that. Okay, all right, know. we'll see. All right, quilters, we love it when you send in images of your completed projects to our Facebook page. So let's take a look at some of the new projects that we featured in our countdown video. So first up, Carrie W. Okay, Carrie, first of all, where do you live? Because Christina and I want to come there because yes. notice there is no snow on the ground. It looks warm. Pictures. And it's super cute because it's a totally scrappy nine patch and mm -hmm. she has cornerstones and strips. What a cute project. Good job, Carrie. All right, next we have this project for Valentine's Day. It's for um, Teresa P. Oh, no, Mary S, sorry. So Mary S used our crazy quilt die and cut up a whole bunch of different kind of Valentine's uh, fabric. Do you see that old fashioned Valentine fabric in there, Christina? I love it, it's so cute. It's darling. And I love like the mixes of creams and whites. And yes, and reds and pinks. Back in the day, reds and pinks didn't really go together, but now forever they do. And I love that she did a little bias binding because that's how she got those candy cane yes. stripes to it's look so that cute. way. It's so cute. Good job, Mary S, right in time for Valentine's Day. All right, so Teresa P. made this super cool project using our spider web dye. Now listen, you gotta look really close. It has Harry Potter in it. It has a Harry Potter theme. So if you look mm -hmm. really close, you can see like Harry and Hermione. I love this quote. Yes. Christina, do you love this? I do, it's kind of like a beautiful, like chaotic good energy. Like there's just so much going on, but I yes. love it. Like it moves so yes. much. Yeah, not like our lives that it's just chaotic, right. period, right? <laughs> okay, so quilters, send us your finished projects. We would love to see what you're working on. Okay, do you love the uh, quilt behind Christina? It's called Go Heart Weave, and it is a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com. It's a brand new one. We just released it last week. Last week. Yeah, is it just it's last brand week? new. Yep, brand new. Um, I love it because it uses our cubes and it uses our strip dies. Now, we were talking about this. This would be a perfect project you could make for Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. but you could also do different colors. Christina, you were talking about different colors. 
Yeah, but, I would probably do like some like grays and like maroons. Yes. Or like you could do like a team color or like school colors for people. Like, right. I feel like you could do anything. And Chelsea Graphics was talking about how she went to go quilt and she looked up the pattern yes. and she did it all with black and grays and pinks. Yes. I love that Go Quilt lets you just change the colors for yeah, everything. Yeah, just change it all up. So you could totally make it, you could make it spring colors. I just love that. Mm -hmm. So Go Quilt, it's a free um, program that we have at AccuQuilt.com. All right, so I'm going to share with you some ideas for last minute Valentine gifts. Because Valentine's Day, we love it. Um, and projects to get you kind of in the mood for spring. Because Christine, it will come, right? Hopefully. Yeah, the groundhog, after we have this deep freeze. Didn't we'll like the spring. groundhog see a shadow last week or something? So we have like six more weeks. Like for 100 weeks, yes. we're going to have winter. Just an eternal winter. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, and I'm going to show you step by step on how to download and use our free embroidery files. Because this is a question we get a lot, yes. right? Is how do you get those free embroidery files? Okay, so before we start, here's our, we love you. You're our AccuQuilt family and we're happy you're here with us today. We have an exclusive promo today only until 12 midnight central time. You can take 25% off Go Cutters, dies, and cube products. Yes. You're gonna use the code HEART25. So Christina, give us some ideas of some discounts that you can get. Yeah, so if you wanted to upgrade to that Go Big, it's only yes. 450 right now, so it's $150 off. And we would ship it to you free. Yes, as long as you're in the contiguous United States. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. If you spend more than 150, is that what it is to yes. ship yep. free? Okay. And then if so you wanted, think about that. Quilters. If you wanted something like that cute little gnome that you're going to talk about, he's so only twenty six dollars. Oh, he's so cute. And gnomes aren't just for Valentine's Day and winter. No. They're for spring and summer. Yes. Okay. So the code you want to use today is Heart Twenty Five, because we love you. We're giving you twenty five percent off. All right. And today we're going to give away our Go Spring Medley die. Oh, here it is. Woohoo! It. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> okay, here's our Spring Medley die. It has our chicks and our baskets and our bunnies, and it has little eggs on it. And the basket, it cuts out the handle, okay? So this is such a cute little um, die for spring. Think about the projects you could make with it. You could make table mm -hmm. runners, you could make wall hangings, you could add it to tote bags. Think about the different kinds of fabrics you could use. Like today I'm going to use cotton, but you could use flannel or felt you or denim. You could use minky for the bunny. You could use minky for the bunny. Or the chick, really. That would be really cute. Mm -hmm. You could use cork for the basket. Oh, or like burlap. Yeah, or burlap is a great idea. That'd be cute. Yeah. So all sorts of things that you can use, different kinds of fabrics you can use. So today we're going to give one away to one lucky viewer. All you have to do is share our video in your personal Facebook page. At the end, um, Leslie's, no, Morgan picks the winner now. Mm -hmm. Morgan's going to pick the winner. Christine is going to announce it, and we will all clap. All right, so let me give you some ideas. Some uh, We're going to make a super cute spring tea towel that is perfect for Easter, but I'm also going to talk about... Um, some tea towels that we can use for Valentine's Day, okay? And don't forget, I'm going to walk you through step by step. I have my little laptop here and everything on how to download and use our free embroidery file and files at AccuQuilt.com. Now, if you don't have an embroidery machine, that's no worries, okay? You can still cut out the applique shapes to and add it to your tea towel. You could use maybe a decorative stitch on your machine. You could do raw edge quilting, okay? So I'm going to give you some great ideas about that. Okay, so first of all, let's look here. Here are some tea towels that the lovely Erica made, okay? So I'll hold this up right here. Miss Chelsea, is this good? So look at, these are cute gnomes. Aren't oh, they so, so fun? Cute. They're so cute. So the gnome die is how much today on sale? 26. $26. Mm -hmm. And um, Erica made little um, nomats. That's what they're called, nomasses. Um, you just add the little... Uh, yarn there mm -hmm. and then Erica didn't use our embroidery download she just did some raj quilting around it so it works out perfectly and this little heart in the center is from our gingerbread accessories die yes so I was thinking you could totally do gingerbread cookies for Valentine's oh, Day absolutely. as well mm -hmm. yeah and add those little hearts to them wouldn't that be cute and I think that little dress on the gnome is also made from the cookie accessories die no I think it's the gnome is it is it she's a little wider though Okay, here, look. Oh, it is the dress. Is there we go. Christina, she's got us covered. Look at this. <laughs> so cute. Okay, look, there's the dress. And the bow, you could totally give your Nomessa bow. Yeah, or like give the little gnome a little bow tie. 
He could, because they're dressing up, it's fancy, it's yes. Valentine's Day. So cute. Okay, so this is one I did using our cute little gnome die. And then the lovely Erica used our heart die. This is our go heart die, we have two, this is our go heart. And um, this one we did do the embroidery download. So this is our satin stitch. So look how pretty and clean that looks with that great satin stitch. So again, this you would just, we're gonna walk through step by step on how to download this and use our free embroidery file. But again, lots of different ideas. Yes. So you could use different colors of hearts. I just think it's so cute, okay? Then, huge shout out to uh, Chelsea who's running our camera today. She found our apron. <laughs> We were looking for this. Okay, so this is um, our cute little apron that the lovely Erica made. And again, she appliqued our little gnomes and our little gnome mess on it, okay? And the little heart. And then watch on the back. So it's, it's like you could just turn it inside out, right? So and there's cute. the heart on the back. So this is a pattern available at AccuQuilt.com. Um, but if you didn't want to make your our apron, you could certainly just get one from a craft store, mm -hmm, definitely. right? And totally do that. And you could do them on the pockets. You could do it however you wanted to do that, okay? All right, so this is our little apron. Here, hold on, I gotta put these over here so I don't lose them. And then um, we have this other little great idea. We have some little Valentine fabric that we're just gonna make little pin cushions out of. Look how cute this is. And last week I made the little bowl cozy mm -hmm. for Valentine's candy. So lots of fun little projects you could make this weekend. You could make them today, right? Great ideas, all right? So these are fun Valentine projects, but you could totally change the colors for spring. So think about that gnome. You could make him a summer gnome, a garden gnome, okay? And all sorts of fun ideas to fill Easter baskets, because Easter is like in a minute. Is it? I don't know this year. I think it is. It's like in April. Oh. The first weekend in April. Oh, wow. I know. I feel like March will just fly right by. <laughs> yeah. It'll be here before we know it. Okay. So today I'm going to show you how to download the embroidery files, bring it to your machine. We're going to go step by step. Okay. So if you've always wondered, now's the time. Don't forget our videos live on our Facebook page and our YouTube page. So if you, if I get in the middle of this and you're thinking, oh ma'am, I don't know what to do. It's okay, you can come back and watch it and pause it. Yep, right? Absolutely. You can just watch this for days. Okay, so before we cut, uh, chicks tell us are people liking nuts or no nuts? Oh, I'm seeing a big mix, bigger than I thought. But yeah? specifically Morgan says milk chocolate with no nuts because she's allergic. Oh. So we know not to send her any nuts. <laughs> okay, Morgan, we won't send you any chocolate. <laughs> oh, there, that's important. Yeah, I feel like lots of people have those nut allergies. Mm -hmm. Faye we, says that she loves all chocolate, but especially dark chocolate with pecans. Yes. That's if fun. you put a little caramel in that, we call mm. it a turtle. Yes. <laughs> right? Yeah. Good. And any others out there loving Oh, they're just saying, there's things? so many that are saying they don't care. Just any chocolate. Just any chocolate. <laughs> Be part of the 58 million pounds sold this year for Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay. So here is our cute little um, spring medley die. Okay. So we're going to cut the chick today. Remember our dies are only gonna cut where there's fabric in a mat, all right? So I have pre-fused my fabric, all right? And uh, we sell soft fuse on our website. Mm -hmm. It's not part of the discount today, but throw some in your basket, okay? Because then you can just have it. All right, so I've already pre-fused my fabric. You can always cut six layers of cotton, um, but you, if you're using pre-fused fabric, you have to count that fusible as a half a layer of fabric. All right, so we could only have four layers of cotton. Now, if I was doing cork for my basket or minky for my bunny, I would just do one yeah, little layer. Yeah, just to be safe. Yeah, okay. All right, so here we go. And I'm gonna put my mat on. Oh, I'm gonna move my candy here. Christina already dipped on it. We're gonna open it up right when the show <laughs> is over. Holy smokes. Okay, I did bring some in for the warehouse team because they're working hard for us. Okay, this is, uh, die is on a six by 12 die board. So it will fit through any of our cutters, including our studio cutter with the appropriate adapter. Today, I'm gonna to use our cute little GoMe. How is there, much is our GoMe today? So our GoMe is really special, and that if you spend $300 today on our website, yes. you get a free GoMe. You don't even need a code. And you get free shipping to the contiguous US because you've spent more than 150. Yep. Oh, there you go, quilters. <laughs> 
So today, if you bought a Go Big, you would get a Go Me free. Yep. If you bought a Ready Set Go, would you get one free? Yeah. I think so. Sweet. I think so. Yeah, because, yeah. Yeah. She'll look it up. Yeah. Just fill your cart with those dyes since they're on sale, and then you get a free Go Me. And, <laughs> and get a free Go Me. It's like it's meant to be. Woohoo! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Now, before I cut, remember, you want to mark your calendar for our very first launch party of 2021. Are you excited, Christina? I'm so excited. They're so cute. They're such cute dyes. Do you know what they are? I do. Are we telling? No. No. We, we like are our jobs. Not. We like our jobs. <laughs> so you want to join the lovely Erica and myself, at, and Lynn is coming. She's coming to our party at 12 noon central time on Tuesday, February 16th. All good things happen at 12 noon central time. We're going to release new dies, all right? And you have to register in the link um, in the comment section. Christina, why do they need to register? So that you can be registered for our giveaways. Given away yes. those new we dies. We pick our winners based on those that have registered. Yes. The best. Oakley knows what the new dies are. Does she was she? at my house when I was testing. I don't think she knows they're new. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you can reach out to Oakley, go for it. <laughs> all right. All right. So now I've taken my fabric and I'm going to use my little go me. Watch how fast I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm going to turn this handle. It's exhausting. Da 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 da. Okay, are they liking nuts and no nuts? The mix? Yeah, I'm seeing a big mix. Um, Cheryl says that a local co excuse me, a local chocolate shop makes crushed peanut chocolate mounds, which are like Hershey Kisses. That sounds delightful. We need to go there. Yes. <laughs> So many places, Christina. <laughs> okay, static is built up, so I'm going to give it a little love. Slide, don't lift. I, you can't see it because my computer's there. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, there's a great question from Melissa while you do that. Hi, Melissa. She says, can you use a smaller mat if you only wanted to cut one shape? Yes, you could. You yeah. could use your six by six mat there. That is a great question. Okay, so now I've cut my pieces, okay? So now we're going to walk through how to download the free embroidery file for Spring Medley. This is a $16 value, mm -hmm. and we're giving it to you free, all right? And, Christina, it's also National Embroidery Month, right? It is, yes. So we're going to talk about some uh, ones that you can purchase mm -hmm. that are on sale. How much are they off today? 15%. 15%, okay? All right, so don't forget, this video lives on our Facebook page and our YouTube page. All of them do. Um, so you can watch it again if you need to. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here to my laptop. And they let me use my own laptop because I know how to use it. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Okay, here, I'm moving hearts and gnomes. Are we all set up? Okay, look at this cute girl. She's so sweet. This is my Oakley bug. And that little grin she has, she is something else. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to open up and you are going to go to AccuQuilt.com. Now, in order to download, oh, look, Heart 25. So cute. I know. Look how cute that one is. Um, quilters, you have to have an account. It's free, mm -hmm. okay? So if you don't have an account, it's okay. Look, here's the apron. This is live television. Okay, so sign in right up here. And this is me. Okay, so you have to put in your... Um, email address and your um, password. Mm -hmm. If you forget it, it's okay. There are people to help. And okay? the best part of having an account too is that it saves all of your patterns. Yes. So they all live digitally for you too. Yes, there you go. Okay, so right here in the search engine, I'm gonna look for spring medley because that's the, and you have to spell medley right. <laughs> okay, it's not medley, it's medley. Or okay, mel so melody. right here, so here's the die. You can throw that in your cart today. How much is it on sale, Christina? Uh, the Spring Medley is $37. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to go right here to the Spring Medley Embroidery Options, and I'm going to click on that. All right. Now look here, it's going to show you some samples of it. Here's the egg, and here's the chick. Here I am. Boy, that was a long time ago in a galaxy far away. <laughs> okay, holy smokes. Okay, so right here where it says Add to Downloads, that's what you want to click on. And now you can download the pattern if you wanted to. Um, it's going to tell you about the Spring Medley Table Runner. But I'm, you can either download it or not. I'm just going to click out of it. Okay. All right. And then I have to come up here to the right where it says My Downloads. Oh, hang on here. Oh, 
Good. <laughs> okay. I know. I thought there were some things in there that you couldn't see. Not this time. I think we checked. I know. Oh, okay. So see, I didn't go to the right place. So here we're going to do it again. We're going to look for Spring Medley. I think you have to actually. I think you can also search your downloads too. Yeah, I don't really want to do that at this moment. Okay, that's fair. Because <laughs> I have some things on my laptop. Okay, add to downloads. Here we go. And I'm just going to add the pattern and that will solve our problem. Add to downloads. I have things on my computer for months ahead. Okay, there we go. Now we downloaded it. See right here in the <laughs> corner, this little zip file, all right? So now I can click out of there. I can open up my zip file. And you wanna find the name of the type of file that works in your embroidery machine. I have a PES file. It stands for Pam Enjoys Sewing. That's how I remember it. Okay, and so every machine's going to be a little different. So we everyone recommend, is right. Yeah, look so at look like at your user manual. Right, look at your you. little manual. Okay, so now what I've done is I've just um, I'm going to come right here to my little flash drive. Oh, not the J drive. Hold on. There we go. My USB file. Okay, I'm just going to put this on my desktop. Okay, and now. All right, so what stitch do I want to do today, Christina? Should we do the motif stitch? Yes. So see, look, it has the basket and the bunny and the chicks and the eggs. So I'm going to just go right here, and I'm going to take all the chicks. Okay, and I'm going to put them in my PES file. Okay. So there they are. Okay. All right. Now then... I'm going to go back to my USB drive. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I've just updated it. I just always want to make sure those files are there. So there's the chick. And ribbons and rustling leaves, we already have those dies. So Quilt Search, if you're thinking, oh, those are the new dies, they are not. Okay? All right, so now I want to take my flash drive to my machine. So, Christina, before we go there, um, People liking nuts or no nuts? I still see a huge mix. That's amazing. Yeah, I thought it would be a lot more divided one way or the other, but I'm seeing a lot of um, chocolate and almonds. Oh, all day long. Chocolate and caramel. Right? Okay. Ooh, apparently Costco has dark chocolate with almonds and caramel. <laughs> In case Christina needed to do that. Costco's right over there. I just It is. It's just around the corner. I got to get and gas the, anyway. Costco so. by us, nobody is hardly ever there. No, it's very empty all the time. Yeah, don't, shh, don't tell anybody. Until it's a Sunday evening and then there's a million people yeah. there. <laughs> okay. All right, so quilters ask me all the time, is AccuQuilt fabric cutting system only for quilters? The answer is, no, listen, we have done projects since the beginning of this year. So you can totally, maybe you're a fiber artist, maybe you're making small projects. And think of it, you can cut denim, you can cut felt, you can cut wool, cork, minky, mm -hmm. all of those things with your cutter. In fact, for the next couple of weeks, we're still going to work on projects. And like next week, we're going to talk about upcycling, right? Yes. So we're going to talk about how you can cut denim with your cutter and how you can cut other fabrics with it. So no, you can, you can be a quilter. You don't have to be a quilter, okay? All right. Don't forget, we're giving away our Go Spring Medley die today. Share our video in your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. Uh, Morgan's going to pick a winner, and Christina's going to announce it at the end of the show. All right, so now, oh, before I talk about it, let's talk about our blog. Our blog is a great place yes. to find inspiration, tutorials, patterns, sewing tips, and great ways to use your AccuQuilt fabric cutter. You can meet our go-getters. So tell mm -hmm. us what go-getters are. So they're like, they write patterns for us. They're our influencers, our bloggers. Yep. They're the best. Yep. And they have some amazing ideas. And it's just so fun to watch all of the stuff Truly. that they're doing. I mean, th every now and then I think, you know, I'm pretty good at quilting. And then I read our blog and mm -hmm. I think, oh my gosh, I need to be doing that. Or I think I've thought of every idea and then they come out with <laughs> something new and I'm like, Great, I need to right. make that too. I'm like, oh, there we go. So check out our blog, um, and you can get notifications, right, when our blog yes. is updating. Yep, it'll email you right away as soon as a blog comes out, so you always have some reading material. There you go. All right, so now I'm going to get all my stuff ready so that I can put this in the hoop. All right, here we go. Now Chelsea's going to walk all around me, so I'm going to try really hard not to get in her way. 
Okay, so some fun facts still about chocolate. Um, first of all, uh, the Baby Ruth candy bar was first sold in 1920. It was named after President Grover Cleveland's daughter, not, not Babe the baseball Ruth. player. No. Oh. All these years. Okay. All these years you've thought of it. <laughs> and um, up until 1828, chocolate was never sold as a solid. It wasn't consumed as solid. It was part of a drink. Hmm. And they thought it had medicinal purposes. I think it does. I think it does. Okay. I feel like chocolate can solve just about anything. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So now I've downloaded my files. I put them on a flash drive. My flash drive says AccuQuilt. <laughs> okay. So now what I'm going to do is, are we good, Chelsea? Okay. So we're going to hit embroidery and we're going to hit right here. This on my machine means it's the USB port. Okay. Ooh, Lynn wants to know um, if we can name the dye for the gnome dress again. Oh, yes. Hold on here. I got to find the right file. It's the Go Cookie Accessories dye. Yes. Come on. Okay, hang on here. I just got to make sure. Okay, good. <laughs> Pam, I thought you checked. I did, I did check, but you know how I am about that. Okay, so here's our little chicks. All right, so let's do that little, oh, there's the blanket stitch. There's the little motif stitch. Let's do that, okay? And then he's the um, satin stitch. All right, so I've taken my little tea towel. Now, Christine, this is a great idea because you were telling me that when your grandma died, you had a whole bunch of tea towels. Yeah, so she has a bunch of, when my mother went through her house, there was a bunch of quilts that weren't finished. There was just bags of tea towels because she used yes. to embroider them all the time. Yeah. So I have so many. So this would be a great idea. You could do them for like gifts for family members yeah. or, yeah, I Definitely. think that's a great idea. Okay, so I have it in the hoop. I have stabilizer on the back. Okay. And I'm just going to load it right here into my embroidery machine. Oh, Scotty says that Chelsea keeps their chocolate in the medicine cabinet for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chelsea, Scotty is telling on you. Hi, Scotty. How the heck are you? Okay. I love that. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. I think it might melt. Next it's to in the band-aids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So now I'm just going to... Oh, here, I have to tell it to embroider it. There we go. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to hit start. So what it's going to do is it's going to put a placement stitch down. Okay? All right, so while this stitch is out, uh, Christina, nuts or no nuts? What are people talking about? Um, I'm, truly, I think it's an even split. Is it? Yes, there's so many of, like, they could take it or leave it. They love them. They, it, chocolate's chocolate. Chocolate is chocolate. Um, okay. Diane says no nuts, but chocolate coconut haystacks. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah, okay. How so, do we get to talking about food again? Every week. Every week. <laughs> okay, more fun facts. Um, Hershey's Kisses made their debut in those little foil um, wrappers in 1906. They've been oh, around wow. a long time. The Snickers bar was named for the favorite horse owned by the Mars family because Mars, M&M is Mars. Okay. Um, it is, listen to this number one selling candy in the United that States. That makes sense. I know, because it's mine. Okay. Did you see the new Snickers that they came out with? No. Instead of the nougat at the bottom, it's a brownie. Oh, <laughs> on the way home. <laughs> the I silence was... in this dream studio after I said that. <laughs> was like, last oh. week, Chelsea and Christina went to, um, and got chili. Yeah, we both got week. chili. <laughs> okay, it's chili and it's a mineral. Okay, don't forget to join us on Mar or March, or February 16th at 12 noon Central Time. We're going to release some new dyes. We have a launch party. Be sure and register using the link below. Why do they want to register, Christina? So that they are eligible to win things. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, Chelsea, can we get a really good close-up here? Um, right here is the placement stitch of our chick. Can you see him? He's just in little yellow. Okay. So, I'm going to leave him in the hoop. We should name our chick. Hey, ask Morgan. Morgan, what do you want to name our chick? Ooh, okay. Okay. We'll see what she says. Now, says. I'm going to take it. I'm leaving it in the hoop. That's super important. Okay. Now I'm going to peel off the back of my chick. So I'm taking that paper off. So right here's that fusible, which answers the question, can I cut paper with my dies? The answer is all day long. It's not like scissors that are going back and forth. It's a die cutting machine. And Christina, do you need a mat? For what? For paper? No, to cut with our dies. Yeah. What happens if you try to cut without a oh, map? Nothing. Not a darn thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So look, I have my little chick right here. Oh, Morgan wants to name the chick Gracie. Okay, Gracie. This is Gracie. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to take my little shovel iron. I have a pressing mat underneath. I'm going to tell you not to do this um, in your machine because it is screaming hot and it will melt the plate that um, your machine has there. Okay. So I'm just going to press him down. Gracie, it's a girl. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to let it cool for a second. Holy smokes. Again, thanks to whoever told us to put in a mason jar. It's a quart size mason jar. Okay. All right. So you ready? Now I'm going to take it all back to my embroidery machine. You know how I love to watch men work. That's what my kids give me for Mother's Day every year. Um, this embroidery machine is loving to watch it work. Okay. So I'm going to put it back in here. All right. And now it's going to do the cute little motif stitch. Okay. We've got so we're going to let it work. Yes. And Christina and I are going to talk. Yes, there's a great question from Kenna. Okay. She says, how do you prepare minky for applique? So minky is a great question because minky, the minute you cut it right, it just shreds. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you, you want to pre-fuse it first. And when I pre-fuse minky, I fuse it from the back and I put a pressing mat over it. Okay. Because then you don't want to, you don't want to burn it. Yeah. But you want to make sure that it's, it's getting there, right? Mm -hmm. So, but great questions. And when I do cork, because like if I was doing baskets and a table runner, table runners you're not going to wash. You're just going to use the table runner. Um, I don't do the embroidery um, section when I do cork. Oh, you just stick it, it on Because it breaks there? up the edges. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. More fun facts about chocolate. Aren't you so glad you all came today? Um, Okay, this is terrible. Tootsie Rolls were once marketed as a health food. Oh, okay. Things have changed since the days of Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, Milton Hershey of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Anybody watching from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, home of uh, Milton Hershey? He started the candy making business in 1900. He was 18 years old. Wow. Good for him. I was Way doing to think ahead. nothing of importance at And 18. he was actually scheduled to travel on the Titanic, but canceled his plans at the last minute. Wow. I know. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, this is the best. Okay, because we have this comment about white chocolate. White chocolate isn't technically chocolate. Right. Because it doesn't have any cocoa solids. Right. That right? I know. Did yes. you know that? Yes. And do you like white chocolate? It's fine. Yeah, it's not my favorite. I like it in like a like a cookies and cream kind of thing where you've uh -huh. got like the Oreo-ish, like yeah. the little, what are they, little Kay. chunks of Oreo? Yeah, <laughs> those little chunks of Oreo. None of those words made any sense. <laughs> I know, but I knew exactly what you were talking about, okay? All right, and peanut M&Ms were introduced in 1954. The regular M&Ms were in 1940. Mm -hmm. um, interestingly, uh, Forrest Mars, who was one of the Mars uh, founders, was allergic to peanuts. Oh. So he would reply no to our little comments today. Yeah, he would. Right? Hmm. Okay. All right, so we're watching our chick. Now listen, um, we had thought originally we might stitch out a gnome, but I'm going to tell you it takes a long time to stitch out a gnome. Yeah, there's a lot so of little parts. So we wanted to make sure that you were able to see the process, okay, and while it does. So you would continue this process until you, if you wanted to add eggs to the tea towel, you could, or a basket. So speaking of, um, Annette wants to know if you wanted to put something next to the chick, how would you line that up? Yeah, so I would um, center the, whatever you wanted to do. Like if you wanted to put a little egg next to it, on my machine I can move shapes over mm -hmm. and then I have a little clear plastic um, template that shows me where it sits. Oh, okay. So you could totally do that, okay? And we do have some for purchase, and we'll show you these in just a second. Um, and they'll tell you exactly where to, they'll do the placement stitch okay, for good. you. Because you want to have like eggs in your basket. I've always right? wondered that too, how you line it up without like having a visual. Yeah, you just throw a little prayer out to the <laughs> embroidery gods and say, please <laughs> let this work. Okay. All right, so continue. And don't forget, all of our non-licensed applique shapes have a free embroidery download at AccuQuilt.com. And again, the process is the same as I showed you today. You go, you find the ones you're gonna do, you download it to a flash drive, it's fine. No embroidery machine, no problem. You could use a decorative stitch on your machine, you could do raw edge quilting. Our little chick would be cute in raw edge quilting. Oh yeah. 
And then we have embroidery files for purchase in celebration of National Embroidery Month. These files are in sale for 15% off. So here's the thing today. Heart 25 gets you 25% off. Go cutters, dies, and cubes. Use that code HEART25. The embroidery files are a whole separate purchase because what's gonna happen is you're gonna go to the embroidery file and download it to your computer. It's not, you're not gonna get anything in the mail. Okay? Right. So then those uh, four purchase embroidery files, they're going to be 15% off. Okay? And we're almost done stitching out our chicks, so I have a couple more fun facts about chocolate. Are we seeing still the same? Yeah, nuts it's, and very, no nuts? it's very split. I love that. Okay, so Charles Schultz, who um, made the Peanuts characters, uh, named Peppermint Patty after he saw a dish of the candy sitting on a table. Oh, cute. So she really is named after that. I like that. Okay? And let's see. Oh, now I find this hard to believe. Americans on the average consume 12 pounds of chocolate a year. That's, That's a it? pound a month. That's it? Oh, I thought that was so much. <laughs> <laughs> I think a pound is less than we think it is. A pound you know? of chocolate? Like, no, like right here, this is a pound. I could eat one of these a month. I don't know. <laughs> I, and we also, only have chocolate in chocolate chip cookies at our house. Gonna say, and also, do they? How do they quantify? Like, does it include like chocolate milk? Does it include like cocoa powder and stuff? Like hot chocolate? Oh, right. Or like maybe you have a coffee drink with chocolate yep, in it. I was just gonna say, I always drink mocha coffee. Oh, that is such a good question. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to quantify that for us. <laughs> okay. Okay, and the M's on M and M's represent the names of Forrest Mars, who was the driving force behind Mars Candy. Okay. And Bruce Murray, the son of Hershey's chocolate president, William Murray. Oh. Yep. So M&Ms, named after famous M guys. Okay. All right. Ooh, Turn Nicole, over in their WWs. <laughs> Nicole says that her mom loves dark chocolate covered cherries. Oh, my dad loves those. Yeah, tis the season. Okay, so look how fast. I work so hard embroidering Gracie. Okay, so now what you can do, and see, look, it says it's, oh, now. It does the eye. Look at this. Here. Oh, it does so if you wanted to ch change it out to black, it's going to do eye. Oh. So we'll watch it do the little eye. Um, All right. Pat Francis says, on a good day, a pound of chocolate is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I just, Scotty, tell us how much pounds of chocolate you have in your medicine cabinets. <laughs> also, does it melt when you, like, take a hot shower? If it's in the medicine I cabinet? I don't know. We're going to have a whole discussion about this after. We need okay. a tour of your apartment. Okay, so look. Now it says it's finished sewing. Ta-da, ta-da. We have made our cute little chick. So let's pull Gracie out of here. Okay. So look how easy that was, quilters. And I even had to do it twice to go find the um, little things. So here is our cute little finished project. Here's our little chick. So I, I totally should put Morgan's name on it. I should embroider Aww. Morgan's name on it. Um, but this is our cute little tea towel. All right. So today, 25% off dies, cutters, cubes. So how much does that go big? Uh, $450. And all. the go me, tell me again the special for that. You spend $300, then okay. you get a free go me. There's no code required. We're just going to send one to you. And we're going to ship to you free because you spent more than, I know, it's beautiful, more than $150. Yes. Okay, so remember I talked about um, for purchase applique mm -hmm. files. So this is one. So this is the bunny and all the baskets. And look, it has little ties and things on it. So if you purchase this one, it's 15% off. And it would tell you the placement stitch just like we did for the chick. So it would start with the egg that's down here and the egg here and the eggs. And then it would add the basket. And it would do the entire placement stitch for you. So here's another one. Look at how this cute this one is. I love them. I love the I little know, decorations it's so on the fun. eggs. So see, you could totally do orange, have your little chicks orange, and the eyes be black. Does it embroider the little dots on the eggs? It does. Oh, I love that. <laughs> it does. That's so cute. It is super cute. I should show you how it works, Christina. I'd love that. We would do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So quilters today, while um, most things are twenty-five percent off. It's a great day to look at those UFOs. Christina, do you have any left? I do. I do. Kind of. <laughs> I do as well. <laughs> okay, so what do you need to finish your UFOs? 
Do you need some strip dies? Because those are included in that 25% off. Uh, do you need cubes? Those are 25% off. Mostly they are going to be 25% off, don't you think? What mm -hmm. else do you think you need to finish your projects? Um, I think you need strip dies yes. to finish them. Um, oh, gosh. Probably all the strip dies because you can do borders, you can do the yeah. binding. Binding, sashing, jelly rolls. Okay. All right. So, Christina, we're going to pick a winner, and then I'm going to talk about some dies that maybe you want to get today for upcoming projects that we have coming yes. soon. All right. So, let's pick our winner. Can we get a drum roll, please? All right. A winner... Brenda Carter Ashelman. Okay, Brenda, congratulations. Thanks for watching today. Christina is going to reach out to you. We're going to send you the cute spring medley die. That's exciting. Okay, so let's talk about some things that are going to happen in the next couple of weeks. Okay, I'm going to move my cup so I don't spill stuff. All right. So next week, we are going to talk about upcycling. Okay, so we're going to make these super cute totes. And I know how to make the bottoms flat. I know, it's, it's good. And so this was, obviously, we used some old denim. Um, this was just some fabric that we had. So a great way to upcycle. So all next week, that's, this is the project that we're going to make. And the amazing Luke Haynes is going to join us. He's going to call in and talk to us about um, making his things. So here's kind of, OK, this is Pam's pickup. I don't know what it's really called, but it's Pam's pickup die. And I was thinking about this would be a great dye to use for upcycling, like maybe your dad's old jeans, mm -hmm. and you can make trucks out of your dad's old jeans. Or like or flannel shirts. Flannel or... shirts. Scotty, she won't touch them. Um, flannel shirts, all sorts of cute things with our Go Pick Up dye, okay? And in a couple of weeks, oh, here, this is the... This is the heart dye. You're going to need this for a couple of weeks from now because on uh, March 10th, we're going to make this project. What's it called? Oh, I forgot to horseshoe look, Pam. Horseshoe hang, hang. I don't know. It's oh, a cute little horseshoe pattern. Christina's going to look I at it. I will look while you talk about it. Okay. So forgot. what you're going to need is you're going to need the little, hor uh, the little um, heart from this. Okay. And this is the Go heart dye. And this is the Western Medley die, which I just really love. I love that one so much. Yeah. It's so cute. And it has the horseshoe, which you should always have up so the luck doesn't run out. And in celebration of National Embroidery Month, the horse here, the horse makes unicorns. Okay? It used to be $5. So whatever 15% is off $5, that's how much it costs now. So you can make unicorns. Okay. The pattern is go holding horseshoes. Go holding horseshoes. We're going to make that in a couple of weeks. Um, again, somebody had asked about our cute little gnomes. So here's our gnome die. And then this is our um, cookie decoration die. This has the skirt from the gnome S. And it has the cute little hearts. Okay. So if you're thinking of some ideas of things, of projects that we're working on, okay, this is a great one. Perfect. All right. Quilters, on behalf of our entire AccuQuilt Live team, okay, let's see if I get it right. So we have Nick upstairs. We have Morgan, Leslie, Marissa, and Katie off-site. Here in the Dream Studio, we have Mikey and Joe and Chelsea and Chelsea C and my good friend Christina. On behalf of all of them, I am Pam Heller, reminding you that at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. Have a great Valentine's weekend. We will see you next Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time.